my name is Dr. Chow. Today, I'm going to talk to you about rattlesnake bites and envenomation. The best way to avoid rattlesnake bites in Texas is to know when you and your pet are most likely to come in contact with them and use appropriate caution. Snakes are most active during periods of warm temperatures, usually above 80 degrees Fahrenheit. They like tall grasses, bushes, rocks, and wood piles. And they are attracted to rodents and pests that come into your yard. Reactions to rattlesnake bites may vary from severe and fatal to no reaction at all. There are no two snake bites that are the same, and the severity depends on the pet and amount of venom. 20% of all adult snake bites are dry bites, in which no venom is actually injected. Typical signs of a rattlesnake bite are swelling and pain, blood oozing from the skin due to clotting abnormalities, tissue death, and neurologic signs. If you suspect a rattlesnake may have bitten your pet, take it to a veterinarian immediately. Assessment by the doctor will help determine what treatments your pet may need. There is an anti-venom available, and if your pet has been envenomated, it should be given as soon as possible. There is also a rattlesnake vaccine called the Crotalus vaccine that is available for dogs. However, this vaccine has conditional approval from the FDA, and whether or not your dog should receive it will depend on your pet's particular risk factors, health history, and your comfort level with the uncertainties of the vaccine. To learn more about pet health care, please visit texvetpets.org. It's the most accurate and reliable pet health information online. Until next time, here's to our furry friends.